Welcome to my glute workout guys. Right, first of all, if we do any exercise, always warm up. I really like to jump on the road for this, but you could also walk or stair climb or whatever. Just get that blood pumping. Straight after, I love to jump on the cable kickback machine. Now, I'm doing diagonal, a superset here, and this really gets that glute working. You tense as you push right to the top and really do push your leg right up. Then from doing a single leg of that, I use the same leg and without a break go straight into the glute cable kickbacks. So I superset these together, I do one leg, I rest for a minute and then I do the other leg, starting with the diagonal kickbacks, then straight into the normal kickbacks. No rest, this will really get the blood to that glute and get you squeezing it, you're going to feel it. You don't want to do this too heavy and you want to keep your back straight as possible. If you bend over like I am, then that will target the glute even more. Really kick that back. It's hard work, but it's well worth it. Now I've got those glutes working, I'm moving on to a heavier exercise. So these are weighted barbell hip thrusts. And as you can see, I start off quite heavy. So I've got about 80 kilograms on there. And I do 10 hip thrusts with the 80 kilograms on there. And then a very short break while I nip around and take off 10 kilograms from either side. And then continue to do another 10 hip thrusts, or as many as I can do, basically, and still get it back on the bar um, until I fail. And I'm really, really squeezing at the top of this exercise. It's really hard work. I'm making sure that the glutes are really pushing. I'm connecting my mind to my butt. And that's what you have to do if you want to grow a bottom. Um, really think about the exercise and make sure that you're working the right body part. Start with a weight that is difficult for you to do 10 reps, so that it's really heavy for you. Don't try and jump straight in there for 80 kilograms because I've worked up to this obviously. I'm resting for two minutes between each set, a set of heavy and light together and then rest two minutes. Now I'm jumping straight onto the leg press and I'm doing, I'm sitting kind of sideways here and I'm doing a single leg press with my toes pointed out slightly. And if you get this right, you'll really feel it in the glutes and the hamstrings and it's quite hard, hard work. So you want to do this on quite a light weight, maybe 15 kilograms or whatever you can feasibly do for 10 reps. So I will do my left and my right leg without a rest, then rest one minute and then go straight into the super wide leg press. Now again, you'll really feel this up the kind of inside of your hammies and your butt, and it's quite a struggle as well. So you might not, you won't do this as heavy as you normally do leg press, but make sure that it is, you know, it's taxing for you because you don't change if you don't challenge yourself. And squeeze right down as far as it will go and push up and you'll really feel it, it is by then rest for a minute and a half and back on the single legs again so you do the single legs with no rest in between but you rest between doing the double leg press and the single leg press now we're moving on to leg extensions this is the last exercise so just hang in there let's do some quads Right, so I do one leg and then without a rest, I move straight onto the other leg. I'm probably doing this about 25 kilograms, but after all the exercise you've already done, your legs are gonna be quite pooped. So you just do as many as you possibly can with one leg, then move on to the other leg and as many as you possibly can with the other leg. Then I put it on kind of a medium weight for myself at about 50 and then I do both legs. And I do that until I literally cannot push anymore. And I do three sets of this. And sometimes I kind of mix it up, so I might start with two legs, and then I'll you know, do each leg singly. And then I might do another set of you know, double legs, and then the single legs again. And then right at the end of this, I, I go alternately from one leg to the other until I literally get down to being able to do about three reps on each leg until I fail. That's my little burn out at the end. You'll feel so much blood and heat go to your quads. It will just be throbbing as you leave the gym. 
just don't try and walk down any stairs or get anywhere fast after you've done these exercises because you're going to be pooped. Now make sure you get home, have some protein, some pure protein and feed those muscles because they're going to need it. Boy, you're going to ache tomorrow. Let me know if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, uh, leave me a comment if you want to see more and I will continue to make you workout videos. Never know, I might even tell you about supplements and everything else. Alright, have a great day. I hope you can walk okay and sit on a toilet tomorrow. Bye!